talk to many good people. You know, my job isn't that way, see? And I started to feel for this guy. He said, said that somebody called me unless they're in trouble or they're dying or they're trying to kill me or something. He said, it's just a place. I'm sorry. He said, you know, he said, it's still going to cost you 30 bucks. I said, yeah, 30 bucks to gain a new friend. Are you kidding? It'd be terrific. Cheap. He said, what are you and your wife coming through? I said, well, we should be coming through without a lot. So, well, when you come through now, here's our address. You come over, me and the missus, we'll take you out. We know some places here. And I'd love to take you out for an evening for some good food. And I said, by God, Chuck, I'd like that a lot. So I told him where I was at in Wisconsin, he's going to come up and visit me when he retires. <laughs> so it still cost me 30 bucks. But I did gain a friend. I think, well, made this into a real positive situation, you know. So we said goodbye and so forth like that and everything. So I said, well, it wasn't, you know, old Chuck, felt sorry for us, you know. I mean, he's a nice enough man, it's just that. The only thing he ever wanted to be was a cop. Because the cop in that day was a good guy, see? Now he's a bad guy, you know, and it's hard to handle. It's hard to talk to him about it. So now it's pretty late now, and I'm tired, so before I know it, this happens to me a lot. I do think before I know it, I'm trying to realize what I'm doing, you know? So I'm driving into this motel. So I say, well, hell, as long as I'm here, you know? I might as well take a little sleep, because I'm pretty tired. So I got room there, and I said, all right. So I always, you know, bring the, I always bring the CB in with me. Just hold on a second now. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Just wait, let's see if I can make this. Let's stay on the wheels. Let's be sliding yeah. off. CPR. I got the phone, the manager's coming, you know, and the ambulance comes, and the guy's pounding me, you know, take him away, and I'm thinking, you know, well, Chuck wouldn't have stopped me, you know, and wouldn't have, you know, well, I wouldn't have talked that long, you know, this guy would probably die, maybe, you know, and I'm thinking, five, seven, five, seven. you know, really positive, really positive, this, this is far out, it's all right. So, I then obviously couldn't sleep much, but I got a little bit of sleep, I got to start it out again, I'm going to see you further. So, Chuck wanted to stop me, you know? And I thought, you know, in the fight, of course, I don't know what I missed, you know, but, you know, but this was worth whatever it would have been, probably. You know, so gonna, let me think, what are we going to make out of this damn thing now? I, I didn't have enough, the bats are wider than I had thought, so I'm going to pull this over like that, okay? And then something will happen. So, I'm going to leave a little thicker up on top here, so I don't want it to roll, fall over. Pull myself. So I'm going to close it over a bit more right now, see? And... See that twisting hat? Take that out of there now. I don't cut much off until I'm in trouble, you know? Then I get in here and I cut that off. It's sort of like reducing, you know? You work all that fat up to the top. Cut it off. <laughs> Throw it away. You know. Uh, yeah. 
layers of health out of here. What's that? Okay, now I want this a little bit. I guess once I do this pull, it's not over one way or another, so. I'll just set up and help him think. It's going to go like that, see? Okay? It's going to be a different form than any other form I've ever done, which is kind of exciting, you know? <laughs> The positive, right? I mean, more, most of the more exciting, most of the forms I've ever really done. So, take this one. Then, I'll tell you about the time I went down by way out of it. Well, it's been so funny, you know. So, I had a show out there, see, the flag stand, you know. So, after the sculpture show, I had out there a flag. They said, listen, we got these paintings we got to have sent back to Canada. So, if you take them in your truck, you know, back to Wisconsin, it'll be cheaper for us to ship from Wisconsin, and we'll give you 175 bucks. I said, oh, okay, that's $150. So what your guest yeah, said, that's good, that paid for my guest to go back. I said, all right, far out, that's fantastic, you know. So I kept them at the university for a while, and they waited, and waited, 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 and they never told me what to do with things, so I just kept them there a while. So now I want to come back and see Paul again, see, so I want to call, so I call him up. I said, look, what do you want me to do with these paintings? I'm going to come on back. I said, Paul, so listen, yeah, yeah, I'm glad you called us. They were supposed to go to Denver. So he said, we'll give you $200 if you bring it back to Denver. So they gave me $200 bucks, and I brought yeah. them back to Denver, you know? I guess this trip is worth it. I go back to Denver. Oh, it's just, I'll tell you what about my rattlesnakes. Oh, man, it was just great. Uh, I've been the way back. Ask the wife, tell her, don't worry, I'll escape. <laughs> don't worry, Alex. Okay. Don't pay the ransom, tell her, sorry. <laughs> Wait until uh, a little bit later on, and I want to 
roll that down, but I can't now until it sets up a little bit. Okay, I want that to roll in. I want this to come up higher, but I just sort of start talking too much about my story. Screw it up to the devil. It's going to end up being instead of the bottom, it's the top. I got that. There are. Now she tells me there's more. That's all right. No, that's good. Well, I got the, we're into this one now. There are. They're smaller. Well, maybe I can where. Oh, they are the smaller ones. I'm using them. Oh, yeah. I'm just using them. Oh, okay. It just looks that way. I know it. But not. It looks that way. I didn't know. Great, great eye. Good idea, though. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. that are thick enough so that when you pick those up they don't have if they have a little bend in the bat the whole top goes in like that so they got to be really that's why you want strong you know when you're throwing that large stronger bass like that see now let me just uh okay now i gotta make <laughs> middle piece Down, I go down to Albuquerque and see my buddy. 